So you've noticed that your computer storage is filling up and you're not sure where all that space has gone, so let's fix it. So first, let's take a look at my storage situation. I'm going to open Windows Explorer and click on this PC. You can see all your drives listed here, so right click on a drive and select Properties so that you can see how much space is used and how much space is free. To delve deeper, we're going to need specialized tools and that's where Tree Size Free comes in. After installing Tree Size, go back to Windows Explorer and right click on your drive again and now you're going to see a new option. Scan with Tree Size Free. Click on this and Tree Size will show you all the folders on the drive. And if you click on this size column, you can clearly see where all the space has disappeared to. In my case, there are loads of raw images from my stills camera, so I'm going to move those to an external drive. If you don't have an external drive, you can free up some space by moving your files to a cloud storage service like OneDrive, which comes with Windows. I use Google Drive, but there are loads of alternatives. I've included a list of storage options in the description area, and as Tree Size Free is Windows only, I've also included some alternative apps for Mac users. Another app I really like and I use all the time is Glary Utilities and like Tree Size, it's got a really good free version. It helps you figure out where that space has gone but it's also got a ton of other features. I like the one-click maintenance option. It does all kinds of things, but it also frees up that space by removing temporary files. Now, most of the time, this is only going to free up a few gigabytes, but if you're a video editor like me, you're going to build up loads of temporary files, and I've seen this tool free up hundreds of gigabytes when I haven't used it for a while. If you're a Mac user, CCleaner will do the same job. You can get CCleaner for the PC as well. Now, another problem that can eat up all of that storage space is duplicate files, and I'm going to tackle this subject in the next video. So hit subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one.